Hey guys, so the holidays are right around the corner, so I created a few recipes just to make your life a lot easier. So today we are going to make electric quinoa stuffing. We put it in acorn squash, you can put it in the bell peppers, you can eat it as is. It is absolutely delicious either way, so stay tuned for the recipe. We're heating the oven for 350 degrees. All right, now that our squash is nice and clean, we are going to make a nice base for it. We're gonna, we're gonna put a tablespoon of grapeseed oil, a teaspoon of volcanic agave, mix it all together. This mixture really gives the squash a nice, sweet taste. We're just gonna wrap this all inside. If you have a brush, this will be a lot easier and quicker to do. But we have a spoon and we're gonna make do with what we got. All right. Now we're gonna put a little bit of our mixture in the other acorn squash. We're also gonna put it in our butternut squash too. And now we're going to add some spices to it. I'm going to add some onion powder. Just a few dashes on each side. And this step is completely optional. I just love a lot of spices in my food. Lots of spices. Some dill weed. A few dashes. You can add whatever spice or herbs you like. Sea salt. And this one really gives it that nice smoky taste that we love. That's in there. All right. Just a few seconds. Really get the flavor of the quinoa and just give it a next level of goodness. This is completely optional, but I love to add some fresh ginger, just a slice. All right, just two bay leaves and this another. This also adds another another level of goodness to our mixture. Now that our quinoa is finished toasting, we're going to input two cups of spring water. Also use veggie stock, but right now I don't have any on hand. I'm going to use this all around. And we're gonna let this boil for 15 minutes. Alright, now we're gonna input another cup of our spring water. We're also going to input some fresh thyme. This really enhances the flavor of our quinoa. This is basically a hack. Um, if you don't have veggie broth, you just add the herbs um, in the quinoa and let it boil. So the vegetables we are going to add to our lovely stuffing is, of course, my favorite, zucchini. We're just gonna chop this really quick. You can chop this a little bit thin if you like, or whatever you like. portobello mushrooms. You can add whatever mushrooms you like. And our paper towel, if you remember my trick from last video. This just makes it a lot easier. Alright. Okay. Dice finely. We're gonna cut these up really small. You can use whatever color bell peppers you like. We're just gonna use this to just top 
When I think of stuffing, I think of something that's savory, something that's sweet, something that's salty, just all together. So to give it that nice sweet taste, we're gonna input an apple. We're gonna dice this very small. If you have dates, you can use dates. If you have seeded raisins, you can also add this. If you wanna add uh, currants, you can too. But this dates really gives it a nice sweet taste. And you're gonna take out all the pits and then you're just gonna chop it finely. Oh, perfect timing. Our quinoa is cooked and ready. In our saucepan, we are going to input a teaspoon of our grapeseed oil or whatever oil you prefer. We're first going to input our onions and shallots. We're then going to input our zucchini, our mushrooms and peppers and all that good stuff. Our apples, of course. Let's throw this bag around. So I'm sauteing them for a few minutes. We're now going to input our cooked quinoa. Some more spices, we're going to put in some sweet basil, some onion powder. So no one likes a plain stuffing, so we're going to add a nice sauce to it. We're going to use the juice of one key lime. Make sure you take the seeds out, of course. We're gonna use a slice of ginger, tamarind concentrate. We're just gonna use a fourth a teaspoon of this. We don't need a lot. That's good. Be a teaspoon of agave and a teaspoon of grapeseed oil. We're also gonna blend all this goodness up. I'm going to input our lovely ginger, key lime, and tamarind goodness. We're gonna stir this all up. And this sauce really enhances the flavor of our stuffing. We're gonna mix it all around. And perfect timing, even our squash is completed too. And put our stuffing. Now that we finished stuffing our squash, we are going to top it with some lovely cheese sauce. This is what your final product will look like. You can choose to add the Brazil nuts, cheese sauce on top of your acorn, or you can eat it plain. Either way, it's gonna be absolutely delicious and your family is going to devour this. Try it. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.